Hi guys, Mavis and me here. Today's video is going to be about my daily wardrobe. Boring you say? Possibly. Is it time that you and I will never get back? A certainty. But might it be entertaining? Well, I hope so. I'm going to be showing you the shirts that I bought to make my life easier. Many of them say perfectly how I feel about my girl Mavis, not to mention how I feel about everybody else. I'll be talking over the pictures about why I chose these shirts. Here they are. It's a well-known fact that service dog handlers are stopped constantly by the public because of our dogs. It is rare for us to arrive home surprised that we made it through the entire day's errands without a single person asking us a dog question. How old is your dog? Are you training him? Is he yours? And the one I get asked the most often, what breed is that? Mavis isn't all that cute and she's not all that fluffy or snuggly, but that doesn't stop what feels like every third person from asking me about her. I get lots of, is that a boxer cross? Because of her short tail. Then there are those that think she's a Rottweiler cross because of her blocky head. I hear, what a small mastiff and what a huge pitbull, along with folks who are certain that their mother's neighbor's second cousin has a dog just like her. When I go to explain that she's a Borable, which is a real breed by the way, they are recognized in the working group by AKC, 45% of the people think I'm saying horrible, 45% of the think I'm saying adorable, and the last 10% just sit there and look at me with their mouths hanging open. I honestly think it would be easier to say she's a mutt, but because my community is small and everyone is but one degree of separation from one another, I have to forge ahead with the honest truth since that's what I started out saying when I first started working with her. The last thing I'd want is to be taken thought of as a liar. It's hard enough to be taken seriously with my service dog. I don't need people thinking that I'm making it all up as I go. In order to make it so that my average day could progress just a little bit faster, I went out and bought a bunch of these Borable shirts with the breed name written clearly on the front so I could just point at it. Folks are still stupefied, but at least they have a name to go with her image. It has reduced my out in public time by at least 25% since I can now address these curious individuals with a single word and a stretched out t-shirt and then be on my way. Thanks again for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you like what I've got going on here. And please leave a constructive or helpful comment below. Toodles for now. Bye.